Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, I am the man behind the devil mask. Time for another vinyl update video. I'm gonna go through records that I purchased recently. Uh, I wanna before I begin, I wanna say happy Halloween to all those who like to celebrate Halloween. Halloween is tomorrow, and uh, make sure everybody is safe while you're out trick or treating. Uh, this is my uh, Halloween mask. Uh, I'll be wearing this tomorrow when I stand. I sit on my porch to hand candy out to the kids. So hope this doesn't scare them. It probably will. Uh, I bet you so. All right. Now before I get started, actually before I get started with this vinyl update, let me uh, take this off. All right. Uh, it's yours truly. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this vinyl update here. This one's a flea market find. Uh, first vinyl find is Chuck Berry's Greatest Hits on Chess Records. It's on uh, the Chess label. Not sure if this is the first pressing or not, but um, uh, it looks nice. Has all the Chuck Berry songs we all know and love. And it plays great too. Very happy to have this album. Next vinyl find uh, was a record store find. Glad All Over, the Dave Clark 5. Do the songs on here. It's on uh, the Epic label, mono pressing. It's in nice condition. Uh, needs some cleaning. Next vinyl find is the Beach Boys Christmas album. This is a, a later pressing. This is not a first pressing. It's on a, a, a later capital label. I hate this capital label. I, I've always despised it. But um, uh, other than that, the record's in wonderful condition looks like it wasn't played and uh, we and uh, this will be played this uh, I will be spinning this on a turntable during the holiday season a uh, holiday season is uh, less than a month next vinyl find uh, also a flea market find the very best of the love and spoonful all their hits and it's on uh, the Kama Sutra label This next record I like to show is uh, a Discogs find. I bought this from a Discogs user in England. Uh, I've always wanted this next album, but I wanted to go for the the Columbia Black and Green, Black and Blue label for this particular record. And uh, I found this for a nice lower price uh, from a, a guy in England. So I'm like, I I better get this, and it right arrived safe and sound from England. Next record I have uh, is a UK pressing, uh, Five Live Yardbirds in mono. As you can see, that's a very young Eric Clapton when he was in the band. Back of it. It's a really nice shot of the Yardbirds. And here's a record in mono. The uh, It's got some... Uh, scuffs and light scratches but other than that this record plays great and i believe this is a, a second label variation you know because uh the first label variation it's supposed to have uh, this recording first published thing above 19 you know where where side where where the number one is which indicates it's side one instead it just has a uh, the matrix number in the 1964 copyright. This next record is also a UK press and it's by the Rolling Stones. Uh, it's, a, it's an export press and uh, this one uh, I ordered from uh, a seller in, in I think it's Sweden. Wait a minute, uh, it's France. I got it from a, a, a user, in, an eBay user in France. I'm very happy to have this. Uh, uh, next vinyl find by the Rolling Stone. This this is a UK export deca pressing of 
the American Out of Our Heads album. Now, this is a sticker that came with the, the U.S. albums. The, the U.S. album, when it was released, if, if you buy it sealed, uh, it's going to have a sticker that looks like this. The Rolling Stones' greatest album feature, and I can't get no satisfaction. But um, uh, this is not the actual sticker. For some reason, DECA in England just just uh, let, let this... Uh, they just put this uh, sticker uh, over the cover uh, when they press it which is strange but other than that it's really nice and back of it and this one's on the the UK DECA label UK red DECA label in really nice condition and I have a, a another uh, UK Rolling Stones album to show you also on DECA it's the same album, but it's a it's the same kind of album. It is out of our heads, but it's a different very different variation of the album. Next vinyl find is a another variation of out of out of our heads. This is the UK version of the album. Uh, it's in mono. I already have this, but uh, it's in stereo. It's a fake stereo. It's on the the box deco label. Now, I really wanted the, the the original mono pressing with the the unboxed red deco label, which it which it has. There's the label. Vinyl's in nice condition. Uh, still had to clean it up after I received it. So I'm very happy to have this fine. And uh, my next vinyl fine, uh, it's a Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab record. I found this for a nice little price at my local record store. This is a door self-titled album, MFSL Preston. Has a MFSL insert here. And I believe this is a late 70s Preston. Uh, here's the record. The white MFSL label. And this next record, I like to share with you. Uh, uh, it was a, a seven dollar fine. I've always wanted this next record in my collection, but uh, I've been, you know, dragging my feet on this one. It's e either because this was uh, overpriced a bit, or uh, for some reason I I uh, uh, didn't buy it. You know, I wasn't ready to buy it, but I found this for a nice price for of seven dollars, and I finally happy to get my hands on this album it's by Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention absolutely free this is their follow-up to Freak Out the debut album it's a stereo pressing on Verb back of it opens up like this this is what the cover looks like when you take the record out now, before I show the record, I want to show the gatefold. It's pretty nice. And, and it's got a, a little insert here, a book. Looks like it was folded. It has uh, all the words to the songs on the album. So, you know, look, it's made to look like a, a, a transcript for a play, a, a play that you attend which is really cool and here's the record in stereo it's on the verve label in nice condition yeah, I bought this uh, uh, the next record I'm gonna show I also bought this for uh, I think it was a it was either seven dollars or ten dollars I bought this the same time as the Frank Zappa album that I just showed you this is a white label promo pressing I could not believe I find I found a white label promo pressing of this uh, classic prog rock album my next vinyl find is Jethro Tull Aqualung 
It's a, a textured cover, a U.S. pressing on Reprise and Chrysalis Records. There's the sticker, radio station service sticker. Fill the gatefold. And here's the record in the original reprise inner sleeve. And this is on the white label promo we're pressing here. White label on reprise. And the record's in wonderful condition. Plays wonderful. I had to clean it up after I bought it. Really happy with this line. And I have another white label promo to show you later in this video. My next vinyl find is a uh, uh, an interesting. Uh, it's it's a new pressing, but um, what's interesting about this is it's a half speed mastered pressing. Uh, back uh, back in like late seventies or early eighties, they used to do half speed mastered audiophile albums. Uh, they they haven't done that in in a long time. I don't I don't know when when was the last time they they did half speed mastered vinyl. But um, uh, this one's a a new reissue from this year. It's a re, it's a Rolling Stones album, a, a classic Rolling Stones album, Exile on Main Street. Has the Obi mastered at Abbey Road Studios. Back. And this album, this pressing is packaged the way uh, the, the, the original album was packaged. It has a gatefold here. It's got a download card, a download insert here. That's a code if you want to download a, a free copy of Exile on Main Street. So knock yourselves out. Uh, here's a half speed master and certificate. Looks really nice. And uh, here's a set of postcards that came with the, the original album. Not gonna, I'm not going to bother with these postcards. I'm you know, going to leave them alone for collector's reasons. And of course the the records, original inner sleeves, nicely done. Both records are identical. This is what the record looks like, and it's on 180 gram vinyl. And I've played some of the songs, and and uh, sounds really good. Sounds really good. Uh, Exiles Exile on Main Street is a great album. Uh, it's it's not my at, like my absolute favorite Stones album like I prefer Sticky Fingers or Let It Bleed or even Beggar's Banquet but but the but Exile has wonderful songs and, and it is a really good album really good album uh, don't get me wrong and uh, th this next record I bought at the same record store that I, I uh I purchased my uh, Frank Zappa and uh, Jethro Tull white label promo records I showed you. This one's an unusual $10 find and it has an, an autograph which made me want to get this. Next vinyl find is the Jimi Hendrix Experience, Are You Experience? Back of it. And this is like a, an early 70s print. Because uh, the Steamboat label looks different. Now, what's interesting about this? This was signed. This has an autograph, which looks like it's signed by Experience Basis No Redden. It says, "Best wishes to Jim. Regards No Redden. No Redden's right here." So, uh, it's not. I'm not. You know, it's not sure whether the the autograph is authentic or not. But I saw this. I'm like, why not? You know. You know, no writing plays on this album, so gotta, gotta have it if it has an autograph which looks like him. Alright, 
have a couple of Black Sabbath albums to show you. Next one is Paranoid. This is a U.S. pressing. And here's the, the gatefold. Motown inner sleeve. Uh, oh, this is not supposed to come with a Motown inner sleeve. I don't know if, if some DJ just found a, a spare Motown sleeve to, to put this record in, or you know, if the, if the radio DJ guy uh, received the record and it didn't come with the inner sleeve, it's kind of odd uh, putting a Black Sabbath album uh, in a Motown inner sleeve and and this inner sleeve looks fan it's in fantastic condition and here's the record this is a white label promo pressing on warner brothers and it's in wonderful condition didn't pay much for this so happy to have this this next record i i like to share I like the, the next record I like to show for this update video. It's also by Black Sabbath. It's the follow-up to Paranoid, Master of Reality, and uh, this is a a UK pressing on Vertigo, Vertigo label, and this is a a laminated al album jacket here, laminated embossed. Now this is an interesting, this is like a box, but um, it's kind of crooked because it has a, a piece of cardboard that's inside this jacket. It's inside this box here. Now this album was, was supposed to come with the original poster, but uh, uh, this one doesn't have the original poster, I'm sad to say, but other than that, this was a, a wonderful uh, $34 find. The, the, the UK Prestons of uh, Black Sabbath album on on the Vertigo label, they, they go for quite a bit. They, they go for way too much money. And I'm, I'm happy to find this for much lower than, than $100. Here's a record. It's in nice condition. Here's the Vertigo label. Had to do some cleaning on this record after I received it. So happy to have have this album. So happy to buy it for a steal. All right, uh, it's a wonderful follow up to Paranoid. Okay, this next record is a, a recent vinyl find, and it's a UK pressing. Led Zeppelin Physical Graffiti. Has all the inserts, uh, but um, uh, the inner inner sleeve, the inserts are not in in uh, that great con great of condition. Uh, th this one has a tear. This this inner sleeve, and here's uh, the insert with the the track listing. It's it's also not in perfect condition. And I'm gonna quickly show one of the records. Well, let me show both of them. Let me show both of them to, to, to show you that these this is the UK pressing of the album. Here it is on the Swan Song label. And here's a record two on Swan Song. All right, hope you enjoy seeing the albums. The last thing I'm gonna show for this update video is a box set. It's a, a, a new box set that, that uh, just came out last month. It's by the Rolling Stones. Um, I'm actually very happy to, to have this box set. Um, I bought this off Soundstage for 20% off. And uh, after after receiving it, I'm very happy with this purchase. Let me pull it out. Get it ready. I now when the album arrived in the mail, it came in this. I'm going ahead and take this off. And 
And um, I, I use this to protect the box. All right. Uh, this is the box that I'm talking about here went by the Rowan Stones. It, it's called the Rowan Stones in mono, much like the Beatles in mono. And this box is actually smaller than the Beatles box set, believe it or not. Put this down. Here's the, the back of it. These are the albums that are in this box set. I'm going to pull all of them out quickly and, and just show the album and uh, show the label. I'm, I'm not going to take all the records out of the inner sleeves. But I'm, uh, this is all on 180 gram vinyl. And uh, this is, and uh, there's uh, 10,000 of these made. Uh, that's my number. Okay. Okay. This is how the, re the records are housed. And uh, here's the booklet here. It's really nice. Uh, it's flimsy. Uh, it's laminated and flimsy. And uh, this uh, this has a, a download card. Uh, you can uh, use this. You, you can use this download card to download the whole Rowan Stones and Mono box set. I'm going to cover up the code here because I've already redeemed it. But um, this is really nice. Really nice picture of the Rowan Stones I've I've never seen before. And let me. Uh, Go through the the book some most of the booklet here has some unseen photos of the stones from the the 60s and liner notes okay that will give you an idea of what the the book looks like looks really nice okay all right, let me uh, get ready to pull the albums out. Show you all of it one by one. Okay. Now for the exciting part here, the records. I'm gonna try to, you know, handle this. I'm gonna handle this very carefully here. So, all right, let me let me just go ahead and put this down. Go through the set here. Okay, this first record is uh, their first album, uh, their self-titled album. Uh, this is a UK pressing of the first album. In America, it's called England's Newest Hitmakers, and it has Not Fade Away as the opener, but on this version, uh, Route, Route 66 is the opener. And uh, uh, I think Mona was dropped on the US version. Uh, Mona's on this version. Now here's what the the label looks like on all the records. All the all the UK albums have this Deca out Deca label here. Uh, it's a, it's a nice recreation, but it's it doesn't doesn't hold up to the the original uh, uh, Deca label, which which has a larger Deca word on it. But um, still really nice. Uh, uh, I played some of this, and so it sounds really good. So, all right. Okay. Uh, next album in the set is Twelve by Five. This is a U.S. album. Now, for the U.S. albums that are in the set. Sorry for the sound, that's the jacket. But, um, for the US albums, they use the London label. The the maroon London label. And, and it's a wonderful recreation of the London label. That's the sound of my phone vibrating. Uh, sorry for the, the noise there. Vibrating on the piece of wood. Yeah, th this has a, a this box that has a mixture of the Rowan's. It's a nice mixture of uh, the Rowan Stones UK and US albums. All the UK albums are in here. Okay. Do it 
like this here. All right, next record in the set is their, their second UK album. It's called The Rolling Stones Number no. 2. It's also on, on DECA. Also on DECA label. Now, this is a nicely laminated, but... Uh, I don't I don't know I don't I don't know about uh, how I don't like how they position the, the out the photos on the, the original album cover photos on this reissue to tell you the truth. Here's the deco label. And uh it's a really good album. Uh, uh it has uh one of my favorite early stones cuts. It's it's called uh, Down Home Girl. Uh, love, love that song. Uh, one of my favorite early Stones cuts. Uh, it's not written by the Stones. It's actually a cover song. And uh, this next record. Uh, um, now from now on, uh, I'm not going to pull the records out. I'm just going to show them quick just to get this update over with. Now, um, I'm sure there's uh, other Rolling Stones in mono unboxing video so uh there there was one that was uh put up by the same guy who did an unboxing of the beatles and mono box a long time ago you should be able to find that here on youtube so let me go through the rest of these quick um next album uh the rolling stones now this is on the the maroon us label the the maroon london label out of our heads us version Label is on the, the US Maroon London label. Out of Our Heads UK version on the UK Deco label, the Red Deco label. December's Children and Everybody's US album on the, the US London label. Aftermath UK version, UK uh, Red Deco label. Aftermath US version has painted black as the opening song on the US Maroon London label. Between the Buttons UK version on the UK uh, Red Deca label. Flowers uh, US version on the US London label, Red Maroon label. Their Satanic Majesty's Request. This one doesn't use a 3D hologram, but it zooms in on the, the, the stones here. What's interesting is that uh, this one, even though this the, the track list is uh, has has not been changed on any pressing of this album, uh, any in, you know, all over the world. This one uses the U.S. Red Maroon label on London Records, which which is interesting because uh, this was actually released on Decca in England as well. You know, it, it's on the the mono version has the blue unbox Decca label, and and they they decide not to use that for some reason. They went with the the U.S. London label, the the maroon label, which is an interesting. Okay, this next album. Uh, Joe, me, Mr. Mayo, if you're watching, the album cover sums up your whole feelings toward this next album that I'm going to show you. Want to guess what this is, Joe? If In case you haven't seen it, this is Beggar's Banquet. This is the, the original toilet cover that was banned by both London in America and DECA in England. It has a toilet and it has a graffiti. And here's the back of it. Now, uh, they started using this cover uh, when it was reissued on CD a long time ago. But um, uh, uh, the gatefold's the same as the original, uh, the original album. Uh, the gatefold was not changed. And this is on DECA, the Red DECA label. Uh, this this album, until now, uh, this album was originally released in mono only in the UK. 
And from what I know, there's only one big difference on, there's only one song that's different, that's, that has a unique mono mix, and that's the, the opening song, Sympathy for the Devil. But other than that, I think the rest of the album are fold downs. You know, it, it could be right, could be wrong. But Sympathy for the Devil, the mono version, it's, it's different from, from the stereo. You listen to it, it's totally different. So, all right, uh, next album. This is the last Rolling Stones album on Decca. This is the last Rolling Stones album to be released in mono. Let It Bleed, uh, I guess one of my all-time favorite Rolling Stones albums. Now, I'm going to uh, unseal this because uh, this one's interesting. Now, this has a... Now, the original UK pressing of this album this this like beggar's banquet in in mono this one was was never released in mono in the united states or anywhere uh in north america but um uh, in england they had this uh die cut here i guess where you know if if it shows a uh, a blue then it's stereo but if it's right it's in mono oh. and you show the inner sleeve here uh, this is the mono in your sleeve. It looks cool. Looks really cool. Has uh, the musicians that played on every song. It has uh, this record should be played loud. And it's on it's on uh, the Red Deca label. Okay, uh, one more record to show in this set. Uh, this next record is actually a, a collection of uh, of songs that didn't appear on the studio albums. Uh, it's it's like a it's like a, the Rolling Stones version of Past Masters, the the Beatles Past Masters, where where it's a collection of all, all songs that were not on albums. They were only on singles or EPs or or you know whatever. But I'm uh, uh, this is the last mono Rolling Stones album that's in this set. Uh, this is uh, the Rolling Stones Stray Cats. Uh, this is uh, how Beggar's Banquet was originally released uh, after they banned the toilet cover. But um, uh, on, on, on the bottom here, instead of RSVP, it says BYOB, which stands for Bring Your Own Beer. And uh, here are the songs that are on here. All cursive writing. And since this is a, a new release, uh, let me show the gatefold. A nice shot of the stones. It looks like they're on their way to, to an airport or something. But what's interesting about this, it's on the, the red label, but it's on Abco. The red Abco label. And this is what Record 2 looks like. Side 3. Uh, side 3 has a, a, a version of As Tears Go By sung by Mick Jagger in Italian, which is interesting. And that wraps up this vinyl update video. I hope, hope you enjoy this uh, uh, I guess Halloween edition of uh, this vinyl update video uh, even though I didn't show any Halloween records I wish I did uh, I was about to buy a, a, a Monster Mash record at my local record store but I didn't have the time to get it and I'm not sure if they sold that record out or not but um, uh, uh, that's my vinyl update video I hope you enjoy seeing these records and stay tuned for more videos and talk to you all later thank you